students today's video we are going to prepare for SAC that is space application center scientist and technical assistant and today in this video we'll be uh, discussing the questions from network analysis uh, we'll be doing uh, more than one part for network analysis because it is a vast subject there's a lot of questions being asked in a single question paper uh, in ISRO or any community examination there can be multiple questions from the network analysis so we'll be doing more than one part this is a part one of network analysis preparation and we are going to see some previous year questions which were asked in the ISRO examination uh, for the network analysis subject. So the first question is this, the value of R shown in the figure, that is you need to find the value of this resistor R. So this is the uh, mesh or a circuit given to you. There is a voltage source, there is a 6 ohm and 7 ohm resistor, there is a 4 ampere current uh, which is being marked as flowing through the resistor R. You need to find the value of this resistor. So this is actually a simple uh, question. If you know what is nodal analysis and how to apply nodal analysis, you can solve this question. And if you don't know, uh, I've done a separate video on nodal analysis and there is a separate playlist for network analysis also in which I have uh, done a lot of uh, problematic videos for preparation of network analysis subject. So please do uh, refer that playlist and go through those videos. Okay, so here I'm going to take uh, this as node N and I'm going to take the voltage as V. And then I'm going to apply uh, nodal analysis here and I'll be writing the nodal equation for node N. Okay, so here this current is flowing towards the node this current is flowing away from the node and this is also marked as flowing away from the node. So I am going to uh, write the nodal equation for node N. That is 50 minus V by 6. That is how to take the sign of uh, uh, the currents flowing towards, how to mark the, uh, the voltage equation or how to write the voltage equation. All those things I have explained in very very detail in that video. So please do refer that video on nodal analysis. In which just know that here when the current is flowing towards the node we take it as positive and when current is flowing away from the node we take it as negative. So 50 minus V by 6 minus V by 7 minus 4 this is directly it has been given as 4 ampere 4 is equal to 0. So you can write this as 50 minus V by 6 is equal to V by 7 plus 4 of V is equal to 14 volt. Okay. 14 volt is the value of this potential at the node N. So this is actually a very simple uh, network of uh, network and uh, that is network of nodal analysis question type of question. There can be a little bit complex questions in which complex circuits will be given to you to perform nodal analysis. Anyway, this is a very simple circuit. Okay. So anyway, the value of V obtaining is 14 volt here and if you see the resistance R, the current is 4 ampere, the voltage is V. So V is equal to I into R, we know voltage V is equal to I into R according to Ohm's law. Voltage V is 4 volt, sorry 14 volt, 14 volt is equal to I is 4 ampere, 4 ampere into R value we need to find. So R is equal to 14 by 4 is the value of resistance. It is equal to 3.5 ohms is the value of resistance. R, R is equal to 3.5 ohms. So either in the options it can be 14 by 4 or 3.5. So uh, you have to choose the according to the options. If it is 3.5, choose 3.5 ohms is the value of resistance R. You need to find the equivalent capacitance between A and B. So this is actually a collection of various capacitors. Totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 capacitors are there. You need to find the equivalent between this is A and this is B. So between this A and B, you need to find what is the equivalent capacitance coming. So before going to simplification of this capacitance connection in series and parallel, you should know that when two capacitors are connected in series connection, if it is C1 and C2, the relation is 1 by C1 is equal to 1 by, sorry, 1 by C equal and is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Or simply, you can write it as C equal and is equal to C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. So, this is just the opposite uh, of connection of resistors in series. 
uh, for series we know that R1 and R2 are if the resistors then the equivalent is R1 plus R2. But here if two capacitors are connected in series C equivalent is equal to C1 C2 by C1 plus C2 is the rotation where two capacitors are connected in parallel C1 C2 C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2. These two relations this and this you should be knowing to answer this capacitance simplification type of questions. You can find a lot of these type of questions in this question papers, any uh, question papers of competitive examinations. So anyway, you should be thorough with these capacitance simplifications. So moving on to this question, if you analyze this question, for simplifying this circuit or this connection of capacitors, you can actually redraw this circuit in the form of a Wheaston's bridge. Okay, I'll draw it for you. You can draw this capacitor connection just like a Wheaston's bridge. So you can uh, redraw this connection just like this Wheaston's bridge. And all these values are identical 0 0.1 microfarad, 0 0.1 microfarad, 0 0.1 microfarad. This is A, this is B, this is 0 0.1 microfarad, this is 0 0.1 microfarad. All values are identical. Now how this connection is coming, I'll tell you. Take this as a central branch, this capacitor out here and pull these two capacitors upwards and these two capacitors downward then you will be getting a connection like this okay these two will form this branch and these two capacitors will form this branch okay so this is how you can redraw this connection of capacitors and if you see all this capacitance in this Wheaston's bridge are identical and hence the current flowing through this central branch will be equal to zero and you can ignore this central branch since the bridge is actually balanced okay the bridge is balanced due to the identical value of capacitance in all the branches so you can actually remove this central branch now this much is the remaining and if you solve this remaining circuit you will be getting the equivalent between a and b so if uh, these two capacitors if you see 0.1 microfarad and 0.1 microfarad they are connected in which connection in series connection so 0.1 and 0.1 in series will be 0.1 into 0.1 by 0.1 plus 0.1, right? Since they are connected in series connection and the resultant obtaining will be, you can replace it with 0 0.05 will be the value, 0 0.05 microfarad, okay? This will be the equivalent value. And these two similarly connected in series and you can replace it with again another 0 0.05 microfarad and they are connected together in which connection in parallel. So in parallel C1 and C2 is connected the resultant or equivalent will be C1 plus C2 in parallel connection. So the resultant C EQ is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 microfarad that is 0 0.1 microfarad is the equivalent of this capacitor connections okay so this is the answer for the question the answer is equivalent capacitance is 0 0.1 microfarad okay 0 0.1 microfarad is the equivalent capacitance. So for answering this question, you should know that this connection can be replaced with the help of a Wheaston's bridge when this uh, capacitor is taken as a central branch and these two capacitors, if you pull, it will form one branch of the Wheaston's bridge and another branch will be these two capacitors and the central one will be this capacitor. Okay. So hence you can form a Wheaston's bridge and hence you can solve it faster. So rather than just going for simplifying this uh, just like this, you can replace it with a Wheaston's bridge. Okay. Anyway, the answer is 0 0.1 microfarad is the answer for this question. For the circuit shown in figure, the switch is closed at T is equal to 0. After some time when the current in circuit was 6 ampere, the rate of change of current through inductor is 4 ampere per second. The value of inductor is dash. So this is a circuit and uh, it is being given that at T is equal to 0, the switch is closed and after some time, let the time be equal to T1. Okay, the current in the circuit is equal to 6 ampere. Let that be I T1 is equal to 6 ampere 
and the rate of change of current through the inductor is 4 ampere per second. Let that be I L T1. It is equal to 4 ampere per second. The rate of change of current is so it is 4 ampere per second. The value of inductor we need to find. So for applying or find, for finding the inductance value, we need to apply a mesh analysis or Kirchhoff voltage law KVL we need to apply. Okay, so starting from this side, negative to positive it is 20 volt minus the voltage across the inductor is, so the current is flowing in this direction. We will take this as positive, negative, positive and negative. From positive to negative when we are taking in KVL, it is minus. So minus L into D I L T1 by DT minus 3 into I T1. So this is the equation we are writing at time T is equal to T1. At that time, we are talking that the current is 6 ampere and the rate of change of current through inductor is 4 ampere per second. So we are writing this equation at time T is equal to T1 or for the time T is equal to T1, we are writing this equation. Okay, so 20 volt minus L value we need to find. The rate of change of current through inductance is given as 4 ampere per second. So you can replace this as 4 into 4. So L into 4 minus 3 into IT1. What is the value of current? At that time the current is 6 ampere. So 6. So this is equation. I am going to take this uh, to the other side of the equation. So L into 4 plus 3 into 6. 6 3s are 18. Uh, so 20 minus 18 it is 2. So the equation will be reduced as 2 is equal to 4L or L is equal to 2 by 4 which is equal to 0.5 Henry is the value of inductance obtained. Okay. So this is actually a simple question. You just need to understand what is actually been written in these statements. So it has been uh, written that there is a time at some time you have to take it as T1. At some time the current is 6 and the rate of change is uh, 4 ampere per second for the inductor. The rate of change of current, we know that the current is actually time varying for the case of an inductor coil. So it is actually 4 ampere per second. So then you have to write the Kirchhoff voltage law. It's a very simple loop, so you can write it very fast. And then you have to apply the values for rate of change of current through inductance and the current value for the resistance. Okay, so the answer obtaining here is L is equal to 0.5 Henry is a value of inductance. Okay. The next question is regarding the finding equivalent resistance between two terminals. Earlier we have done a question or, uh, for capacitance. This is resistance. So this is a connection of various resistors in series and parallel combination. You need to find the equivalent value. Uh, so we will start from this side. Here you can see that these three resistors, I am directly approaching the question. These three resistors are connected in series 40, 10 and 10. So 50, 60. So you can replace it with a 60 ohm resistance. This is 60 ohm. Okay. So this much we have simplified. Then this 60 and 40 are connected in what connection it is? Parallel connection. So the equivalent is R equivalent is equal to 60 into 40 by 60 plus 40. That is 6 4 are 24 by 100. Okay. So you will be getting a 24 there. You can replace this with a single resistance of value is equal to 24. Again, this 24 ohm it is 24, 10 and 10 is connected in which connection? It is in series. So 24 plus 10 is 34 plus 10 is 44. Again, this 44 ohms is there. So we have simplified to build uh, till this much. 44 and 40 is connected in which connection? Parallel. So R equivalent is equal to 44 into 40 by 44 plus 40. Okay, so that will be the equivalent value. I am going to keep it as that as it is. Then I am going to write that value here. 44 into 40 by 44 plus 40. Okay. Now, this value, if you saw, you will get approximately equal to 20.8 something. You can uh, take it as 
20 approximately because uh, the value in given in the options was approximate values not accurate values so approximately you can take it as 20 ohms again this 20 so this is approximately equal to 20 point something or you can take it as 20 okay so this 20 and 10 and 10 is connected again in series connection so the resultant is r equivalent is equal to 20 plus 10 plus 10 equal to 40 ohms is the answer for this question so this is how you have to solve this resistance uh, simplification type of questions and i'm telling you to practice it as much as possible because at least one question will be there for simplifying this resistance uh, and don't waste your time uh, for writing all the equations for series and parallel you should be able to do these things in mind so make your practice as uh, that much as possible okay anyway the answer for this question is 40 ohm is the answer that is the equivalent resistance between these two terminals which is a and b you can replace it as 40 ohm okay so this is the answer for this question question is actually a very simple question you can expect these type of questions in a technical assistant examinations okay so uh, the question is to find the current in the circuit very simple uh, there are only three resistors but uh, the three resistors even though it looks like connection in series but they are not actually connection in series you can see that there is a connection from in between these uh, two three ohms to this end and there is again another connection from this end to this end so if you pull this connection downwards and this connection upwards how can uh, you redraw this this can be actually redrawn like this. So sometimes you may get confused with these connections, but you have to think twice or thrice that what is actually the connection. This is a parallel connection of three resistors with identical values, which is 3 ohm. Okay, so this is a parallel connection. Now it is very simple to solve three resistors of 3 ohm connected in parallel. What is the equivalent value? It is 1 ohm. That is 3 by 3. Consider that n number of R valued resistors are connected in parallel. Then R equivalent is equal to value of the resistors that is R. All resistors are R valued by number of resistances n. So this will be the equivalent. Here the value of a single resistance is 3 and how many resistors are there? 3. So, R equivalent is equal to 3 by 3 which is 1 ohm. Okay. So, you can replace this with a 1 ohm. Now, it is very simple. How will you find the current I? I is equal to V by R. V is 3 volt. 3 by 1 which is 3 ampere is the current flowing through this circuit. So, this uh, actually a simple question. You just have to identify that the resistors are connected in parallel connection not in C. So, these type of questions if you practice... It is very useful for you for in, uh, for attempting the competitive examinations. So I really hope that this video was useful for your preparation. Please do give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. And also share these videos with maximum more friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.